Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. This is Groove Mail for Beginners. What is it and how to use it? So I'm Ross and this is GrooveTube Academy. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't seen any of my videos so far, basically all the content on this YouTube channel will be everything Groove Funnels and it's here to help you on your journey. Um, if you've signed up for a free account, a, a platinum account, whatever it may be, I'm sure there's some content in here that will get you that a little bit unstuck so that you can keep pushing through and moving on with your business. I'm building my business through Groove and basically what I'm doing is uh, recording it as I go along and then sharing it to the world so that you can benefit from these uh, videos as well so thanks very much for um, joining in and if you haven't subscribed please do so on the other side of the uh, screen there i would really appreciate that and you'll be notified as soon as any of the videos are released which i'm trying to do um, every day at the moment um i've been a bit busy this week uh, as you can see uh, from the screen behind the one more travels again i'm in the one he threw at the moment and um, heading home later on today so i thought i'd um, draw out some more videos for you guys so let's talk groove mail and emails so you you probably have heard from you know some of the gurus around there you know money's in the list email marketing da 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 but i'm, I'm trying to be like no fluff and just um you know talk about what, what it is to to do email marketing. I don't know if you've noticed them, um, everyone as well, in your um, dashboard that things are, are looking um, a lot neater. I quite like this new dashboard. It'll probably change and um, evolve over time, but you've got your um, main button here in the, in the middle of the screen here, which I thought was quite neat to take straight through it. So I'm going to click that right now and we'll go into Groove Mail itself. So when well, we're talking about lists, so it, 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 it really depends what you want to do. It, it, you could you could have your own business already at the moment um, that you offer products and services. You may be um, an affiliate marketer. You may have a, a newsletter. There's loads and loads of different reasons why you would have a list. Now, email marketing. Some people may say it's dead or it's getting phased out because you've got you know other means in like Facebook Messenger, chatbots, all this sort of thing coming in. But to be honest, I think. As we, as we proceed down the line, I think you're going to have a mixture of all these different avenues because people like to consume content in different ways. Some people are visual, they like to watch videos like this. Some people, um, uh, you know, like to listen to things. So um, I, I would say I'm a bit of overall, although when it comes to reading, I don't, I'm not one too much for reading, but other people are, so you might have blogs. Now, the thing is, it's great to have loads of different content out there, and at some point, you're gonna to want to talk to that person individually, and that's where we come up with um, building a list. Now, it, it depends on what information you want to get out to your list. It, it could be anything. If you're a, an affiliate marketer, maybe you want to talk about the products that you're offering and get a bit of a deeper dive. And you can do that over a, a period of time. So, you know, rather than going to someone and just saying, oh, look, I've got this product. It's absolutely amazing. Just buy it. And people just don't do that anymore. They, they don't know you. There's, there's no trust there. You know, they're not just going to part with their money straight away. So, you know, they might come across you and you, you, you might have a message that resonates with them and they think, yeah, that looks quite interesting, actually, but I'm, I'm not in any stage of buying. Now, there, there might be something there that you're offering, you know, free free content or a free ebook or a newsletter or whatever it may be. Um, and you basically get them to enter their details and then you can then have a relationship with them and send them emails through an honest wonder like groove mail and then build up that no like and trust over time and hopefully you know if they see value in what you're offering and um, you'll have a customer and you'll have their contact details and they've given you permission to email them and um, whatever it is but please don't use this to spam you know that this is it's just not going to get you anywhere as uh, spamming people, you know, getting their details and then just sending them loads of nonsense. Um, they'll, they'll end up just uns unsubscribing you anyway and relating it as spam and you'll end up burning out your email so that this is not for that. This is for building up a, a profitable business. You're communicating with people. You know, it's not just you typing in words on a keyboard. There's somebody else on the other end. So please, 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 if you're building out your business or the affiliate market, whatever it may be, just think about what you're typing in and what you're sending. Now, the great thing about Groove Mail and other autoresponders out there, but we're talking about Groove Mail today because this is one of the fantastic apps within the whole suite of Groove Funnels, is it might be fine to, you know, email somebody individually 
um, you know, to and, to and from. But what happens when you've built and scaled your business and you've now got thousands and thousands of people in your contact list? You're going to want some sort of platform to be able to communicate quickly. And what an email autoresponder does is it cuts down on the time. Now, I'm going to take you briefly through the dashboard to GrooveMail and um, just show you the, the different features on it. Just move myself across the other side of the screen. And um, over the next series of videos, we'll take a bit of a deeper dive into what each individual one means and how you could possibly use it. But to be honest, there's only a few things that you need to do to start collecting um, people's emails and then being able to communicate with them. And um, over these series of videos, we'll show you exactly how to do that and, and um, get, get you going straight away. So, as you can see, this is the, the dashboard. This is just the um, GTA demo account for, for these videos. So you'll not see much um, going on in here. But basically, you've got your home page, which is a dashboard. And this is a great place to stop because you know it will show you how many people are opening your emails, how many clicks you're getting, how many form submissions, stuff like that. So again, this will take time. It'll take time to build your list and then start communicating before you start seeing anything on here. Um, and then you've got all your different options down the side here, leads tags and segments, campaigns, automations, forms, settings, analytics. So, you know, don't get overwhelmed with this. I'm going to break each individual tile down and we'll, we'll explain exactly what they mean and what it means to you, how, you know, how you can use it to make life easier. So the main thing is, is what, what GrooveMail is. It's basically another function so that you can, you know, spend more time doing the things in your business so that you aren't tied down with emailing constantly between, you know, yourself and your, your list. And you can set this thing on autopilot and it will just basically, you know, people will be able to sign up to whatever it is you're offering. And then in the background, it'll be doing loads of, you know, magical things that'll be communicating and it'll just take a lot of stress away um, from, from you and you can get back to it running, running your business or whatever it may be. I mean, you might even be setting this up as, a, you know, a, a side um a side thing where you you've got a full-time job you know you might be an affiliate marketer and then in the background you know GrooveMail and all the other suite of apps is taking care of um, doing all your communication so you're spending um, more time on the things that you you like to do so you know that's just a, a basic overall view it's um GrooveMail email autoresponder for um, collecting information from people so that you can then communicate um, to them in a, a simple, easy and fast uh, solution uh, going forward. So in the next one, we'll talk about uh, GrooveMail for beginners and we'll look into uh, lists, uh, leads and lists, which is um, in, in here and exactly um, grill down on, on what it means and how to you know, collect those collect those leads and where to put them. So if you um, haven't commented before, please leave a comment below. If you're liking these um, beginner sort of series, um, please leave a comment and, and I'll do more of them on, on all the different suites. And if you liked the video, please leave a like below and be sure to look out for the next video. Thanks for joining me in this one. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.